A great philosopher once said that every change begins with a moment of lucidity. In these moments a veil opens, one which normally shrouds all the unwelcome truths we are aware of, but which we have buried deep within ourselves where we cannot see them. And it is only these moments in which we can make a decision, the decision to either act or to let the moment pass, until the veil seals itself again and we once more are the slaves of our habits. I don't believe in revolutions. They're too simple, too fiery, and they too often end with the opposite result of what was intended. But neither am I a cynic who has lost all of his faith in the world. Change is possible, but it won't come as a big bang, but rather as a long path, one that will constantly confront us with obstacles. Obstacles we can either choose to overcome, or at which we can choose to quietly turn around and go back to being what we were. The sacrifice of the one who will be remembered as the prophet is proof that I am right. Yes, some might see the downfall of Enderal as the triumph of the High Ones, but it wasn't. It was neither that nor a triumph for mankind. What we were granted was a moment of lucidity, the chance to start our own walk down a long, rocky path. The High Ones exist because we believe in them. We. Our egos give them their power, and the more we listen to their words, the more we hate them, and the more powerful they become. Indeed, the beacon, this ancient machine of unknown origin, can destroy us, but it can also free us from the High Ones, if we use it right. Rumors that the Arizalians have started constructing a second beacon, and the knowledge that this time we are aware of its nature, give me hope that the Prophet has not died in vain and that we continue walking. <laughs>